are very anal, uh, precise, um, special agent. I'm, I'm superior to all the FBI agents that are in the film, and uh, I've been given the task to be on Jigsaw. And uh, I probably, you know, uh, I'm the guy who has the most knowledge of the case, and like I said before, I'm, I'm, I'm sharp enough that I'm getting, getting really, really close. And you can sense it, you can feel it. It's, um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's a driven, tough guy. From the end of five, I've gotten into the lair, and, but believing that it's strong. Because Hoffman, to this point, has just you know, created this web and is all fingers, as far as I'm concerned, as a detective, a special agent, are pointing at Strom. And this is kind of unbelievable, even though he's been acting very strange. Um, kind of suspect him, but would never really, because he's FBI. So that's how close we are. At the very end of the film, I, 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 I believe totally that it's him. So that's where we are at the start now. It's, we know it's Strom. Um, we're, we've got to get him. He's still out there, so we don't know he's dead. Costas is great. He's, he, I, I've shared this with him, so he, you know I've said it, buddy. Costas and I both have something that uh, you could translate it to stage, meaning that you know, we, we, both, we both have presence. You know, um, Costas looks gorgeous on the film. He's just very strong, uh, very weighty kind of character. I think Kevin, the way they structured the script and the way he's put together his storyboard, I mean, he, he knows precisely, because he has editor's mind, you know, he's, he's thinking, okay, that's going to cut to that and that's going to, um, but, but he's very sensitive. We have the smartest fans in the world. I mean, these people know every detail. And it's scary sometimes. I mean, they just know it. So you can't fool them. And that's, that's, that's part of the intelligence of the film series, because we're not looking to hoodwink anybody. We're looking to create a weave that's so intricate that we can throw these people, you know, and excite them, because people do get excited. And interestingly enough, like, there's a combination of things. I mean, people want blood. They want blood. They want intricate, scary, brutal, nasty traps, and they want intrigue, and they want intricate plot points, and they want the old characters. I think you can look forward to just uh, action-packed, gore-filled, um, intricate plot twists, and uh, you're, you're gonna f feel like it's all worthwhile. By the end, you're gonna go, okay, got my money's worth this time, you know? Because the, the, it's always a payoff, right? It's always the ending. I, I've seen you know so many movies. You go, oh man! I waited all this time for that. This time, trust me, you'll feel that you know your 850 or whatever it is is worth money well spent. Kind of really cool to meet Tobin the first time. He walked in the room, and I'm like, you know, I've seen him in a million things, right? And you're sort of wow. And he's so he's very down to earth, but he's. He's really legitimate, like he's, anybody could have taken on this role and said, yeah, I'll be in a horror franchise and they could show up and they could say their lines and they could take their check and they could leave. But Tobin approaches this like I'm sure he approaches everything he does, which is, no, this is my job. They gave it to me. I got to take it seriously and I've got to go for it. And so rehearsals with him were fantastic. You know, the, the rewriting and reworking stuff to, to actually make it legitimate and sincere. I think, and. I guarantee you that's one of the reasons why the show has been such a successful franchise. I sort of grew up, I grew up on horror movies back in the 80s when the slasher franchise industry really, you know, hit full swing. And um, I was studying theater school, but I loved going to see slasher flicks. I don't know why, it just appealed to me. I, I like roller coasters and scary things. And um, so I've been following this franchise because uh, I think it's just fantastic and when I had the opportunity to jump on board I was like absolutely I'll be in a Saw movie I think they're great. Kevin Greuter is the director of the film and he was the editor of all the previous Saw movies and he's a fantastic director because as and I've had this experience before with editors um, they can see the film completed in their head so they know the shots that they're gonna 
use and they know what shots are going to be dramatic and they also know what kind of performance is going to be dramatic and one of the fun things about working with Kevin is I just came up to him on the first day because he was talking to me and he was trying to explain things and motivations and stuff like that and it was which was wonderful and and uh, but I just turned around and I said to him Kevin I'm not that kind of actor if you want me to scream louder just say scream louder and I'll scream louder